So this next dream, it was this morning, which is the 23rd of November, 2017. I, in my dream, I was walking with friends and family. We were all in white when all of a sudden I saw a picture in the sky. It was of a city, but right away I knew it was fake. So I told my friends and family, look, look to the sky, there's a fake picture in the sky. So they said to me, how oh, do you know that it is fake? I said, I know fake when I see it. <sighs> yes. The picture then shake a little bit. Then they agreed with me that it is fake. The picture was set there as if from a lead projector. I then looked behind me and saw a house lighting up. Then I realized the lead is the same color as the picture. So I said, look, I think that the house that's the house where the light is coming from. And as I said that, I saw a man descending in the sky. He wasn't descending. He was just in the sky. But he looked like Jesus. But when I look at him, I know he wasn't Jesus at all. This feeling I get, I know he was fake. The man had a woman in his bosom. And he was like plucking her breast like a guitar. Like a guitar string. So I said to the people, this is not God at all. This is fake. He's so fake. Why would God be plucking a woman's breast? Or a God is holy. God is holy. Then he let the woman go and she fell to the ground dead. Yes, they were in white as well. The man began to shine a light which was coming from his hand. It was the light was so dull. I see it was fake also. I know that wasn't Jesus at all. People began floating in the hair. Yes. The fake Christ, like he took us up in the air, then he said to my daughter, Come, my child, you are going with your mommy to heaven. <laughs> he was so fake. We began to smile, but deep down, I knew it didn't feel right. So he, the fake Christ, now he accompanied us part of the way, then said to his angel, Take them the rest of the journey. They took us not far away to a place which wasn't heaven at all. I realized it was a furnace where they were burning people, they were burning Christians, people of God. They were burning us alive. I managed to escape to safety, but then I realized I abandoned my sister and daughter to save my own self. I then I then went back and get them to safety too. The enemy couldn't stop me at all because I was covered under the blood of Jesus. I then hear a man say to me, five verse one. I don't know which book of the Bible that comes from, but I know it's a Bible verse. But I don't know which scripture, which book of the Bible to look for it. Five verse one. Well, the moral of this story is that the Antichrist is coming after God's children. He's angry at us because we are obeying God. He don't want to see us go to heaven. I know my Jesus when I see him. I know his presence, he'll feel love, peace, he'll feel overwhelming joy. And I know that this man wasn't Jesus at all. He was definitely the Antichrist. Yes, the Bible says, My sheep know my voice when I call. Oh, when, the, when I call, yes. And the Antichrist, when, he's, when he was talking, I said, No, my Jesus don't sound like this at all. This is a very fake Jesus. After I woke up, the Holy Spirit had said to me, He said, the Antichrist will come and many will be deceived. So my dear friends, I'm asking you to repent and be careful of the false prophecies. Be, caref be careful of the false preachers. There are many out there claiming, please be aware and know where God's face. Know our God's face. Thank you. Thank you for watching.